Maddie Westbell playing with that face guard after breaking her nose. And you can see Louisville with the special uniforms today that were designed in part by Angel McCautry. So Cochran and Watson to jump it up, and it is Louisville who controls. You see Notre Dame starting out in man-to-man -man defense. Sonia Citron often gets the task of defending the other team's best player, leading scorer Kiki Jefferson for Louisville here. Part of what makes her such an interesting pro prospect as well when it comes to Citron. That time, it is West Bell who comes up with a knockaway. Hidalgo's pull up, too strong. Rebound flag down by Citron, trying to save it and does. Here's Hidalgo, gets snapped from behind, out of bounds, it will stay here with Notre Dame. Two fantastic head coaches in the building. Jeff Walls in his 17th season at Louisville has led his team to four Final Fours. Neil Ivey, now in her fourth season at Notre Dame, has really built something promising, exciting for the Irish and doing so this season without their star point guard, Olivia Miles, who will miss the entire season recovering from knee surgery. Both of these teams are willing and want to push the ball in transition. However, when they get in the quarter court, Jeff Wall said, we need to move the ball, share the ball, switch sides of the floor. Sydney Taylor on the board first for Louisville. Knocked away by Harris. It'll stay here with Notre Dame. See Louisville starting out in a man-to-man -man defense as well, but Jeff Wall's known for mixing things up throughout the game, going to zones, traps, full court. Well, that was something that Neil Ivey was talking about with us before, saying we know they're going to switch up all kinds of schemes. We have to be able to handle the pressure. Then also thought really had to handle the physicality of Louisville on the glass, especially from Cochran. Here is Taylor, cutting through, flipping up. Good D for Manita Wolf. And Notre Dame comes up with a stop. Here is Hidalgo. Giving it up to Wolf, traveled, and Notre Dame turns it over. We talked about Olivia Miles, who hit a buzzer beater against Louisville at Notre Dame last regular season. You see her fantastic stat line, the fact that she was an All-American. She does still have two seasons of eligibility remaining as Hidalgo, there's a steal coming up with one early. Hidalgo is going to get called for the offensive foul, going the other way by Mark Resch. And this is something that's important to keep an eye on. Yes, yeah, she's incredible defensively, and she kind of knows when she can get in there and try to get the steal. But a couple of Notre Dame's losses this year were when Hannah Hidalgo got into foul trouble. Their most recent loss against Syracuse, she was in foul trouble for much of the game. She has to be really smart here now defensively. And, and at least on first look, didn't look like there was a ton there on the drive, but Hidalgo picks up an early personal. Knocked away again, West Bell creates a steal. Here's Citron throwing it behind, and both teams a little sloppy in the early going. Three turnovers apiece from Louisville and Notre Dame two minutes into this game. And you talked about it, Rebecca. These are two of the better teams in the nation when it comes to not only creating turnovers, but turning them into points. Yes, capitalizing on them. Notre Dame now in a zone defense. Ricard, no. Rebound, Watson. Here's Citron, this nine games earlier in the season. Yell Ivy talked about what a big adjustment that was. Ashton Wolf gets denied, but fouled by Harris. And free throws coming for Anna DeWolf. And yes, everybody has the same perplexed look. Anna DeWolf, 5'8", goes in. Wow, that oh looked like goodness. Nyla Harris gets nothing but basketball. Oh, a little bit of a head, the head maybe? Did she get the head? She may have with her, uh, like her bicep area may have gotten to Wolf on the head. That's the only, that's the only potential foul yeah. that I could see. Let's take another look. Where does she get? I don't know. I don't know if her head's leaning back or if there was any contact there. 
Because the first couple of looks, it looks like well, she just got Well, it wasn't with the arm or with no. the body. <laughs> Harris jumper is good on the other end. And really nice patience and ball movement by Louisville until they find the spot in the short corner for the good look. Jeff Walls was talking about that very shot with Nyla Harris with us earlier saying she's just gotten that eight to 10 foot baseline jumper down. Really happy with the season she's had. Also just really happy with his group as a whole. Talk about what wonderful young women they are. As Hidalgo air balls Notre Dame 0 for 5 from the floor to start. Hidalgo for four. Nice cut inside, and then Watson there for the contest on Ricards. Good feed to Harris from Taylor for the finish plus the foul. And a chance for three for Nyla Harris. Jeff Walls told us this morning he thought his guards could post up Notre Dame's guards, and here it's one of his bigs because Hidalgo gets stuck inside, just posting up and overpowering. Hidalgo was there, but it was not her who was called for that foul. Instead, went to Watson, I believe. Still waiting for confirmation on that as the free throw is missed, and Citron comes up with the board. Here's West Bell from three. A little too strong. Notre Dame still seeking its first field goal. Here's Taylor cutting through and laying it in. Hidalgo anticipated one way, and Taylor went the other. An 8-2 start for Louisville, and a 6-0 run over the last few possessions after a slow start for both offenses. Citron can't hit. Rebound Harris. Taylor's three, back iron, no, rebound. Knocked into the arms of Ricard, who lays it in. Ricards finishes on the second chance opportunity. That's one area that Notre Dame needs to be better is boxing out on the defensive end. When they've had losses this season, they have been crushed by second chance points in those games. And Louisville is top 20 in Division One in offensive rebounding rate. West Bell can't hit. Notre Dame stays cold. Here comes Jefferson. This is what you were talking about, Rebecca. I mean, look at the difference. Seven and a half points they give up. Second chance in wins. And the three is good for Kiki Jefferson. Timeout, Notre Dame. What a start for Louisville. Coming down, oh, Hidalgo thought she was going left. She went right first. Taylor scoring inside. And then Jefferson complimenting it from the outside. What a start for the Cardinal. What's up at DQ? These two are debating which $7 meal deal with fries, drink, and a sundae is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. There's something for everyone in the $7 meal deal at DQ. Happy tastes good. Good food tastes better with a dollar for Daisy. Do a dollar, do, do a dollar, yeah. Everything tastes better with a dollar for Daisy. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. There's nothing better than a Subway Series footlong, except when you add on an all-new footlong sidekick. We're talking a $2 footlong churro, $3 footlong pretzel, and a $5 footlong cookie. Every epic footlong deserves a perfect sidekick. Order one with your favorite Subway Series sub today. A force to be reckoned with. No, not you, Saquon. Hmm? You. Your business bank account with QuickBooks Money now earns 5% APY. 5% APY? That's new. Yep. That's how you business differently. We lost everything. What are we supposed to do now? There's got to be someone who can help. There may be one.
Why do dermatologists choose Dove? The Dove Beauty Bar is gentle, not only cleans, hydrates my skin. As a dermatologist, I want what's best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologists use at home. True story. Two championship caliber matchups equal one super weekend. Come on, this is basketball. You got it first. Saturday, it's a first class Big 12 Rumble. Baylor is legit, man. And it's all Kansas right now. Sunday, it's a heavyweight battle between UConn and undefeated South Carolina. A show stopping highlight. Oh, my. Experience number 13, Baylor, number 4, Kansas. And number 11, UConn, number 1, South Carolina on ESPN. Well, Hannah Hidalgo is a terrific player. And one of the reasons she says is because she grew up with four brothers, three older, one younger. She also has a sister. And basketball is the family business. Because her dad was a coach of an all-boys team, she ended up playing more games with boys than she ever did with girls. She was actually the MVP of the boys team when she was six years old. And her dad, uh, Orlando, we got to meet him in Paris. He has instilled toughness, defense, all the things in her that are so great. A little bit of a tough start here, but she is on pace to be one of the best freshmen in Notre Dame history, and she's done it through a family of love and basketball. Love that, Holly, and love what Neil Ivey had to talk about when it comes to Hannah Doggo, the confidence and the consistency that she's seen from her freshman. Also that she likes to be coached, likes to go through a film with Neil and Neil getting into her mind on what she's seeing as Bransford was able to spin that in off the window. First made field goal of the game for Notre Dame. They had missed their first eight shots. Bransford in off the bench. Louisville had switched it up, came out in a zone defense, had been playing man-to-man -man prior to that. Now Notre Dame in a zone here as Cochran has it taken away by Citron. Running with Hidalgo. Hidalgo will lay it in. And just like that, back-to-back -back buckets from Notre Dame. foul and Louisville turns it over and Jeff Walls will go to his bench. I mean Notre Dame so good turning defense to offense. Hannah Hidalgo out running the floor finishing sometimes especially when you had a, a bit of a struggle start in terms of making your field goals. It feels so good to have an easy one go through. Do we have fans handing us coffee Rebecca? <laughs> 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 Okay, so Ryan, when Notre Dame has struggled, in particular, I'm thinking of their last loss to Syracuse, a couple things happened. One, they were sloppy at times with the basketball. We've seen that early here in this first quarter. Struggle to shoot. We have seen that allowing their opponent to get to the offensive glass. Right now, it feels like the Irish just need to settle in, whereas Louisville, this is exactly what they want the early game to look like. Jada Curry in off the bench for Louisville. Here is Curry gets denied emphatically by Westbell. Watson was there as well. By the way, that foul early was on Westbelt, not Watson. So one personal on her, none on Watson. Jada Curry, baseline drive, giving up a lot of size here. Both Watson and Westbelt there to contest. They look east on Bololu into the game for Louisville as well. Here's Curry, a three, nearly banks in. East on Bololu, keeps it alive. Curry. Will pull up, can't hit. Citra on the rebound, Jeff Walls wants. Curry attacking though. Wants are putting the pressure on the defense. Here's Hidalgo. Over to Bransford, her three rims out. And Watson trying to save it, able to win the possession for Notre Dame. Jeff Walls down there having a powwow with one of the officials, thinking that Watson landed with the ball out of bounds before she threw it in. Here's Hidalgo lobbing it into Westbelt. Westbelt, quick move, and that's going to be a charge. And that will be number two on Matty Westbelt, which means Neil Ivey has to go to the bench. Natalia Marshall into the game. And the wolf will spell Hannah Hidalgo. 
and Hidalgo and Westbelt are so good in the two-player game. Marshall comes in. She was outstanding off of the bench in Notre Dame's win at UConn a couple of weeks ago. Notre Dame in that zone still. Jefferson will fire. No. Rebound, Citron. Really good job boxing out that time by the Irish. Citron. Off to Bransford. Bransford cutting through. Traveled as she did. That is going to be the sixth Notre Dame turnover. A Saturday afternoon on ESPN is highlighted by a Big 12 Sonic blockbuster between Baylor and Kansas. Baylor on a three-game winning streak, while KU looking at a rebound from their OT loss to Kansas State last Monday. Men's Big 12 college basketball between Baylor and Kansas Saturday at 6 Eastern on ESPN and the app. I believe episode two of Sue's Places might be Sue visiting KU with Jason Sudeikis. It is. I think it's out. I think it's out, too. Watch the first episode with Gino Oriema, which was excellent. Curry. Oh. Took the scenic route, but did not land at the final destination. <laughs> wow. Bodies hit the floor. Bransford, good cut. Great find from Watson, and Bransford lays it in. Six straight points from Notre Dame out of the timeout from Neil Ivey. Jefferson gets blocked. Ball scraped up. It'll be the hell ball and the possession arrow belongs with Notre Dame as we send things over to Holly. Well, Neil Ivey called timeout when it was 2-13 to 13 for her Irish team. When we got to the huddle, I listened in, and she wasn't ripping them. She wasn't screaming at them. She was like, stick to our offensive game plan. She was calm, composed. She pointed out that they didn't have any offensive rebounds and challenged them to get tougher there. I just, I've been in a lot of coaches' huddles. Gino Oriema, Pat Summit, Tara Vanderveer. She's unbelievable in the huddle. Like, she is so composed and interesting and great. And her team has responded since that timeout. Well, her team was playing a little bit frenzied. And you yeah. need to bring that level down and Notre Dame has been really good here on the defensive end ever since that timeout and if Louisville continues to get shots blocked or continues to miss their three-point shots longer Notre Dame can stay in their zone they've been disruptive with it Yeah, Ivy improving her team's win total each of her first three seasons as head coach Citron gets blocked still time to operate for Notre Dame here's the wolf five to shoot and another Notre Dame Turnover, that is number seven. Sonia Citron doing a nice job running the point guard position with Hidalgo out. She re-enters the game, but we saw that from Citron a year ago when Olivia Miles got hurt. She was thrown into the fire in terms of leading the charge at the point guard position. Told you about the points off of turnovers. Louisville 10th in the nation. Notre Dame 9th in the nation in points off turnovers. Both teams with plenty of opportunities in this First quarter as Russell lays it in. Louisville had missed their last six shots and gone more than four minutes without scoring. A 15 8 Louisville lead. Here's Bransford off to Marshall. Marshall cutting in, lays it home. Nice take there from Natalia Marshall. Really good off ball movement by Notre Dame. Moving, cutting. Finding pathways to the basket. Well, since we were just talking Sue's places, Marshall played at Christ the King, where Sue Bird and many other talented Hoopers have in the past. The incredible legacy of Christ the King. Yeah. Tina Charles, Shamiqua Holesclaw. I mean, you could name so many All-Americans out of that high school. Shot clock turned off here. 20 seconds to go in this first. Louisville five-point lead on Notre Dame. Bransford, pump fake, take, and hit on the jumper. Bransford's done a nice job since coming in. Curry's he won't go, and that'll do it for the first quarter after falling behind 13-2. Neil Ivey calls a timeout. And with yeah. Taylor in Texas, just a... Uh... Game of runs accentuated. Now you hear the reaction, I agree with you. I, 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 you hear the reaction from the crowd. 
It's because Dana Evans was just shown on the scoreboard here. Dana, of course, starred at Louisville, now a point guard in the WNBA. Won a title a couple years ago with Chicago as a backup point guard on a championship team behind Courtney Vandersloot. See Notre Dame now switched back to man-to-man. -man. Here's Russell diving in, can't finish, Harris can. Harris is a very good offensive rebounder. That time she was in perfect position to corral the miss. Harris, six points, three of three from the floor. Louisville, by the way, 11-0 this season when leading after the first quarter. Into this game, the number 15 team in the nation. Notre Dame, number 12. Bransford can't get that to drop, and it's out of bounds. Lasted Notre Dame. It is Louisville basketball as Cochran will check back in for the Cardinals. There's Cochran storming in, stops, kicks, Taylor, connects on a three. Nice setup from Olivia Cochran. Outstanding, she dribbles in, she's pivoting and sees that she's drawn multiple defenders. A great time to get an open look from three. Nice pass by the big girl. Had a good start in this second quarter for Louisville. Here's Cochran on the steal. Cochran trying to win the race and instead will travel. Big girls unite. You get the ball inside. She's dribbling, attacking the basket. Double team comes. Pivot, pivot. No, nothing there. Not the last resort, but one of the first and perfect pass to her guard outside. Send things over to Holly. Well, if you're tuning in and you don't recognize these uniforms from Louisville, that's because they're brand new. Angel McCautry, the Louisville legend, designed these with Adidas. And the jerseys are inspired by bourbon barrels and baseball bats, kind of that creamy wood color. The dates of their final fours are on them. There's a quote from her song that she just dropped called Role Models and a signature from her for good luck. Very special, unique design from Angel McCautry. And I love that she's still pouring into the school that she put on the map. Uh, shout out, Angel. We always love your creativity. And these uniforms are very cool. Uniforms are beautiful. And the first time I called a game in Louisville was about 18 years ago. And I didn't know that the locals called it the Ville. Mm. as you see the jump ball here. And I was out going to dinner, and a guy came over to me wearing a red suit, and he introduced himself, and he said, hey, Rebecca, I'm the pimp of DeVille. Really? And that's when I knew that uh, they called it DeVille. <laughs> that's a, it wasn't that guy. It, it, that's a true story? That's a true story. It better be. And I remember it was 18 years ago because I was <laughs> pregnant with my second daughter. That is a lot of times how we mark time. Yes. I can't wait to see what other stories you have for this broadcast. <laughs> I'll tell them at dinner. Okay, West Belt can't finish. And then they turn it over, trying to run out. DeWolf off to Citron. Citron sneaks in and finishes. Beautiful move from Sonia Citron. She's a Swiss Army knife. She can find her way to the basket. Outstanding percentage shooter from the perimeter as well. I really love her game. She's 6'1" has really good size at that position. The versatility as well to kind of play one through three as Harris can't finish. Hidalgo trying to grab at it and it last hits. Notre Dame going to stay with Louisville. Hey, women's college basketball is a sonic blockbuster on Sunday featuring two of the top programs in the country as UConn faces South Carolina. Women's college basketball between number 11 UConn and undefeated number one South Carolina, 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. South Carolina, the only remaining undefeated team in Division I basketball. They are without Camilla Cardoso, their 6'7 post player for that game tonight, and again for that matchup against UConn as she's helping represent Brazil in international play. Louisville turns it over, Citron Hidalgo, and it's gonna be Citron. No whistle, looked like a lot of contact, but then the follow is good for Maddie Westbell. Hey, 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 hey. 
First points of the game for West Bell. And the LIV called the team's leader. She's also been just so happy with the way she set the tone for the pace of her team all season, but you don't usually hear that phrase about a big as Harris is able to finish on the spin. Nyla Harris having a really strong first half. The two soft spots against that zone are at the free throw line. Notre Dame's done a really good job keeping the ball out of there and in the short corner. Adalgo draws the foul and will shoot two. So against the zone, Louisville able to get Harris the ball in the short corner. Beautiful spin and finish inside with the left. Can I give you one of my observations of Louisville? Yes. The team or the city? No, no, just the city. Yeah. Walking around. Uh, it was incredible how fragrant <laughs> the city is with delicious food. You were right. It, it, it was strange. Like one block was marshmallow. bacon. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And one block was marshmallow. Yeah. There was something else in there I can't remember. And everything smelled appetizing. Yeah, you're right. So anyway, we'll be back. First foul on Curry. Adalgo with four points now. Jefferson leaves it short. Harris, the offensive rebound. Again, Nyla Harris active and involved. She averages over two offensive boards a game and just relentless in her attack. How about Ricards floating it in? Ricards able to clean up another offensive rebounding opportunity and Louisville a plus six in this first half in second chance points. Here's Hidalgo. Step back three. No. Ricards. Gobbles up the rebound. Great challenge by Olivia Cochran on that last Hidalgo three. Cochran dumps it down. The reverse won't go from Harris. Citron, another rebound. Crowd wanted to travel. Watson cuts through and can't lay it in. And that pass headed this way as it's turned over. Holly? Well, you see one number 15 coming in for Notre Dame. There's another number 15 for Louisville. And by the way, they both played high school basketball together. That's right. Natalia and Nina were high school teammates at Christ the King in New York City. And they both were number 15 for a very special reason. Kind of a New York legend, Claire Drosich, who played at Boston College, lost her fight with breast cancer in 2018. And they wear number 15 to honor her. They're still really good friends. They won a state championship together. And uh, really special to see both 15s in the game right now. Very cool, Holly. Outstanding stuff. As Harris can't flag it down, and things have gotten sloppy from both ends. Jeff Walls frustrated. Tenth Louisville turnover. Six-point game. Second quarter action. What's up at DQ? These two are debating which $7 meal deal with fries, drink, and a sundae is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. There's something for everyone in the $7 meal deal at DQ. Happy tastes good. You know, Coach K, retirement looks good on you. Who needs championships when you can look at birds? Uh, Coach, I'm looking at a goat. A hospital bill for $1,200? Gap! Did you say gap? He's talking about the expenses health insurance doesn't cover. But with Aflac, uh -huh. you can get money to help close that gap. Aflac, huh? Aflac! Gap! Aflac! Gap! Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Aflac.com. Oh, that spin class was brutal. I bet. Can I put some music on? Pick something we all like. Something we can dance to. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision. Oh, you should pick something stronger. Noted. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. The Buick Envision. Built around you. All of you. Get 0.9% APR on this Buick Envision. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get 3,500 purchase allowance. Plus, no monthly payments for 90 days. Ally has savings buckets that help you save for anything you want to buy. And the ads you're seeing this Sunday are selling things you'll want to save for. Like that sexy new car. Or a fancy vacation. Or party supplies. Your delivery budget 
or even the down payment on your dream home. See something you want to buy in an ad? Tell us at savingforthatad.com and you could get a savings bucket filled. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Why do dermatologists choose Dove? The Dove Beauty Bar is gentle. Not only cleans, hydrates my skin. As a dermatologist, I want what's best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologists use at home. The stars are out on ACCN. Isaiah James runs with Phenom Hannah Hidalgo in South Bend. Next Thursday at 6 on ACC Network. Coming up at the Jeep Halftime Report, Caitlin Clark's pursuit of history continues tonight against Penn State. We will preview that. And did you hear there's a really huge game on Sunday? Yeah, I think so. Not the one in Vegas. We're going to look ahead to UConn and South Carolina as well. Six-point advantage for Louisville right now. Where do they have the edge? Well, you heard Ryan talk about the offensive glass. Louisville has the advantage there. Second chance points, 8-2. to two. But also, I think Louisville is making Notre Dame take tougher shots. If you're Notre Dame, you've got to work the offense, ball movement, player movement to get better looks to close out the half. We just saw Rupert say a little sloppy there, but we'll certainly see. We'll see at the halftime and get it back to Ryan. All right, Al Drea, looking forward to that. Also looking forward to Sunday, 2 Eastern on ESPN. UConn, South Carolina. Before you watch the Super Bowl, you get some premier college hoops. And that's going to be a charge. Citron whistled for it as Marissa Russell stood in there to take it. First foul on Citron. Ninth turnover from Notre Dame. Louisville with 10 turnovers, five of them already in this second quarter. A great look underneath. And Harris finishes it. Pinky Jefferson delivering a gorgeous dime. Jeff Walls just raved about Kiki Jefferson to us earlier today. Just how delightful she is as a person said, you know, she'll just text me out of the blue, how are you doing, coach? And I always respond, okay, what's up? What do you want? And it's never anything. She's just saying hello. So that's just so rare. Usually if you're texting the coach out of nowhere, there's an ass coming. <laughs> Cochran, double, and Citron caps it out. Eyes up the whole time, and Jefferson right into Harris. Harris has been outstanding in this game. She's played with great energy. She's finished inside. She's gotten to the offensive glass. I've been really impressed with her so far in this game. Was a top 40 recruit last year. Shows Louisville over Florida State, UNC, NC State, Georgia Tech. A sophomore from Orlando, Florida. Here's Jefferson. Cross court pass. Russell, good fake. Conquer with two to shoot. Gonna have to pull. Can't hit. Nice box out on the weak side from West Bell. Here's DeWolf with pace. Neither of these teams take a lot of threes, both towards the bottom of the nation when it comes to the percentage of field goal attempts that they take from three. Right on cue, Citron nails one. Citron, an outstanding three-point shooter, and finally Notre Dame gets one to drop. They have not shot well from the perimeter so far. That is their first three of the game, had been 0 for 5. And even though they don't take many of them, they usually shoot it at a high percentage. Again, that connection. Jefferson with a great look into Harris. And it was a great job by Harris getting the position, getting her defender on her back. Wow, Hidalgo, tough finish from the freshman Hannah Hidalgo. Relatively qu quiet start, a very quiet start by her standards. Hannah Hidalgo only two of seven right now from the floor. Cochran has it taken away. Here is Hidalgo. Hidalgo weaving, dishing, Citron. Can't hit. Weak side rebound, Jada Curry. Flinging it up the floor, Russell lays it in. Plus the foul. Marissa Russell a chance for three. 
Louisville always trying to push pace, get out in transition. It's resulted at times in turnovers here. It results in a bucket and an and one opportunity. That is number two on Sonia Citron. One of the key cogs for Notre Dame. As Russell misses the free throw, West Bell the rebound. Louisville now 0 for 2 from the line. Notre Dame 4 of 4. Watson looked like she might have gotten away with a walk. Flips it in. Beautiful finish. That's a hard finish, too, when you have two defenders right around your feet. Jefferson's three. Won't go. The Wolf, the box out, and the pedal. Here comes Anna the Wolf. Pull up jumper, in and out. Harris the board, pace picking up here. Curry. Something about that number 30 Curry jersey. Jefferson. Doggo nearly took it away. Pass in traffic, that one is stolen. Citron gets it ahead to Wolf extra feed and Hidalgo gets whacked hard by Easton Bulolu. Easton Bulolu. Thank you. We've been practicing all day. There we have. We still need more. We do. <laughs> I'll go a little shaken up after that. Now she was not, she did not yet have the control of the basketball to be shooting and get free throws here. So Hidalgo takes it out. Final minute of this first half, Louisville three point lead. Hidalgo directing traffic. Six to shoot, Hidalgo, three to shoot. Hidalgo with one across her body, can't hit. Harris the rebound, that's exactly the kind of shot that Jeff Walls is hoping Hidalgo would take. Those jumpers running to her left in the mid range. About a seven second difference, game and shot clock. Harris. Has it poked by Hidalgo, out to Curry, she can't hit. Rebound loose, Bransford has it, 10 seconds remaining. Hidalgo, the catch, the reverse, and the finish. One point game, five seconds left in this second quarter. Russell will take, can't hit. And that's how the first half will end. A tight game at the KFC Yum Center. Be her record and her record alone very quickly. Notre Dame in that zone. Here is Cochran. Dumps it down. Harris again able to finish. Getting it right to the sweet spot in the free throw line area. And then the high low is there. Harris just picking up where she finished in the first half. Here's Westbelt at a quiet first half. That jumper too strong. Rebound Jefferson, Ricards pushing, the crossover, the flip, and the whistle. And Nina Ricards will shoot two. Great job right there. You see the ball in the high post, and Harris has done a great job of this all game. When she can, getting the zone defender on her back, holding her position until her guard or her big can deliver her the basketball. You talk a lot of the post players, you do your work before getting the ball. Yeah. That's exactly what it's referring to. Getting your defender on the back so it's an easy look once you catch it. Ricards hits the first. Watson picked up the personal, her first. Cards, a grad transfer from Florida. Averaged just under nine points per game in her four seasons there. A lot of transfers for Jeff Wall's team. Sydney Taylor from UMass. Kiki Jefferson from James Madison. Jada Curry from Cal. Citron 
Can't finish it. Kept alive by Marshall. Here's Hidalgo flipping it up and off. Rebound back to Citron. Tries to sneak it to Westbelt and throws it away. That'll be the 10th Notre Dame turnover. Watson, they immediately took out of the game. Put in Natalia Marshall. Oh, Hidalgo coming up with a steal. That's what she does. Hidalgo can't lay it in. A lot of contact, no call. And then Ricard's traveled. And that is going to be the 14th turnover for Louisville. As Hidalgo is still wondering where the whistle is that could have come on that layup attempt. I mean, she's done such an effective job all season getting to the free throw line. And typically on a play like that, she finds herself there. Here's DeWolf, her three, won't go. And a rebound for Harris, won't stand as Marshall was fouled, loose ball foul against Louisville. She told Holly Rose she reads the offensive player's eyes and just able to poke the ball free, pushing it down the other way. Actually, it looked like solid defense. Yeah. Like a good no call on that replay. Here's Marshall. You see the steal numbers for Hidalgo. Just incredible as Citron nails the jumper. I mean, how about having 12 steals in a game? It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Thirty-four, thirty-one. Louisville leading Notre Dame. Ricards five to shoot. Jefferson three to shoot. Elevates, can't hit. Rebound. Westbelt for Notre Dame. Time Louisville was running their Princeton action against Notre Dame zone, doing a nice job switching sides of the floor, but shot clock down. Did not get a great shot. And a whistle here is going to go against Louisville. As Jefferson is called for the foul, trying to hang with Marshall. And so Natalia Marshall making an impact after coming in just a minute into this third quarter. First foul on Jefferson. Yeah, that's a foul. Marshall. Back to Hidalgo, her three, off the mark, and rebound lands in the lap of Nyla Harris. A lot of bodies on the floor throughout the course of this game tonight. Yeah. That's sort of what Neil Ivey was talking to us about, just expecting physicality, especially on the glass. Taylor can't hit the three. Rebound flung to the corner, kept alive. Jefferson has it. The cut from Ricards, another offensive rebound for Louisville. And now Hidalgo comes up with a steal. Hannah Hidalgo has just set the freshman record in program history for most points in a season. A Notre Dame record for Hannah Hidalgo. It's only fitting that she started the play with a stop on the defensive end. The steal just pokes it free, keeping her eyes up, looking around, and finishing the easy two. One of the few easy twos for Notre Dame here tonight. There it is, 531 points this season, most ever by a Notre Dame freshman. What's incredible, Rebecca, is this is obviously a very decorated program that has had some incredible players throughout the years. And there's a ton of calendar left. Right. She's setting this record the beginning of the second week of February. I mean, the incredible scorers that have come at Notre Dame, Arike Gumbuale, Jewel Lloyd, and you see here some of her, Hannah's incredible performances so far this season. There's the 12 steals that you were talking about earlier this year, triple-double as well. Skyler Diggins-Smith. I mean, there's just endless talented names throughout the years. 
Just remarkable accomplishment for Hannah Hidalgo, and more records will fall as Hidalgo scoops it in. There she goes, going to her strong right hand, able to finish over the bigs inside. Cochran across her body, can't finish it. Nyla Harris, what a night Nyla Harris is having. 16 points, eight rebounds. Her career high is 18 points. We're just four minutes into the third quarter. Bransford's jumper is off. Hidalgo, catch, fire, in and out. Curry the board. Here's Taylor Euros. He gets fouled by Marshall. And Taylor's going to shoot two. Soon as Louisville co corrals rebounds there, looking to push, get out in transition. Curry with a really good outlet pass to Jefferson that time. Marshall out, Watson back in. Either team has shot well from three in this game. Notre Dame, one of 10, Louisville, two of nine. Hey, next Thursday, ACC Network will have a couple of ranked teams featured in their women's basketball doubleheader, 6 p.m. It's number three, NC State, number 12, Notre Dame, and then it's Duke and number 16, Virginia Tech, ACC Women's College Basketball, 6 at 8 p.m. Eastern on ACC Network and the ESPN app. Georgia Amor has been playing really well since coming back from her concussion for Virginia Tech. Of course, starred on the way to the Final Four a season ago. She and Liz Kitley, two of the best in terms of leading their team. They're scoring just over 50% of Virginia Tech's points this season. Hidalgo unable to get it to drop, but does get the whistle and will shoot two. Hey, still to come tonight, terrific game on ACC Network. Virginia Tech, the aforementioned, taking on number three, NC State. It feels like after South Carolina, things are just wide open. When Jumbled. You yeah, when you try and think about, okay, who are those other three Final Four teams if you were picking a bracket today? Obviously, what Caitlin Clark continues to do with Iowa, incredibly impressive. And we see NC State there, Colorado, a team of note, Utah. They're getting teams. UCLA. No, there, mad, no yeah, there's... It, it, it's very clumped together. Cochran. Hidalgo nearly came up with another steal. Cochran, wow! A ferocious finish from Olivia Cochran, fending off multiple defenders. And now a steal on the other end for Louisville. In the corner, Curry connects! Lots going on here in DeVille. First, we have the record-setting bucket and more from Hannah Hidalgo as she goes right, and then Jada Curry hadn't made one yet. Good time to make one here. We got ourselves a good ball game. Why do dermatologists choose Dove? The Dove Beauty Bar is gentle, not only cleans, hydrates my skin. As a dermatologist, I want what's best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologists use at home. When my patients experience very dry skin, I recommend La Roche-Posay Lipid Car Body Cream. One application a day keeps very dry skin away. La Roche-Posay Lipid Car Body Cream provides 48 hour hydration and helps repair the skin barrier. Suitable for ages two weeks to 100 years old. La Roche-Posay, recommended by 90,000 dermatologists worldwide. The classic Hollywood story. We meet the hero, the Nissan Frontier. Hero faces seemingly impossible challenge. Tension builds. The plot twist. The hero prevails. In Hollywood, this would be the end. 
but out here, we're just getting started. The Nissan Frontier. Shoot. Shoot. Okay, I'll shoot. What's happening? But I don't see any hoop. No, I said that because of, uh, I'm sorry, shoot. I'll shoot. Where's the hoop? They don't have one. You stop saying the S word. I didn't know. They're going to want the jingle for this. Okay. Like, like a, a good neighbor, neighbor State, State Farm, Farm is there. there. Don't worry. State Farm makes it easy to file a claim on the app for a new car or even that old pacer. Someone call for an old pacer? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Every year, Thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. True story. Two championship caliber matchups equal one super weekend. Come on, this is basketball. You got it first. Saturday, it's a first class Big 12 Rumble. Baylor is legit, man. And it's all in the pants it's right now. Sunday, it's a heavyweight battle between UConn and undefeated South Carolina. A show-stopping highlight! Oh, my! Experience number 13, Baylor, number 4, Kansas, and number 11, UConn, number 1, South Carolina, on ESPN. Well, on Sunday, the first women's Sonic Blockbuster game of the year in Columbia, undefeated South Carolina hosting Paige Beckers and the Huskies. In a stellar non-conference matchup, UConn, South Carolina, Sunday at 2 on ESPN and the app. South Carolina with a completely new team, just playing a completely different style and doing what they do, which is win. And Connecticut, after dealing with more injuries and a slow start by their standards, played really well. And Paige Becker is reminding everybody just how fantastic she is. Yeah, how proficient and efficient she is as a guard on the basketball floor. And Adalgo gets fouled by Curry. We go right back to break. We'll come back in a moment. What's up at DQ? These two are debating which $7 meal deal, with fries, drink, and a sundae, is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. There's something for everyone in the $7 meal deal at DQ. Happy tastes good. It's the final game, folks. This one wins the series. Struck out with the cheap seats? Important things aren't worth compromising. At Farmers, we offer both quality insurance and great savings. Here, take mine. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that spin class was brutal. I bet. Can I put some music up? Pick something we all like. Something we can dance to. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision. Oh, you should pick something stronger. Noted. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. The Buick Envision. Built around you. All of you. Get 0.9% APR on this Buick Envision. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get 3,500 purchase allowance. Plus, no monthly payments for 90 days. Why do dermatologists choose Dove? The Dove Beauty Bar is gentle. Not only cleans, hydrates my skin. As a dermatologist, I want what's best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologists use at home. ABC Hockey Saturday kicks off the weekend with the star-studded showdown. The Grade 8 in the Caps. Oh, baby! The Pasta in the Bruins and Bean Town. It's Pasta Night again! An ABC Hockey Saturday doubleheader starting at 1 p.m. Whatever you do, do it for less at Harbor Freight. Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, on Nickelodeon. Everybody come for the fresh and fruity. Hey. Only at I hope it's Rudy Tootie. Hey. Mix and match like a little combo cutie. Hey. Happening now at the big extravagooty. The Rudy Tootie extravaganza starting at $7. Create your own combo with eggs and bacon. Only at I hope. She's almost fictional from the logo. 
Clark, step back three at the buzzer. Not again. Well, Caitlin Clark on the brink of more history. 66 points to pass Kelsey Plum, move into first place all time in career points in Division I history, has already passed Kelsey Mitchell. It's just remarkable, Rebecca, what she's done, continues to do. And I remember when the season started, we had emails with projections about when she could break the record this year. And, and most of it was centered around early March, maybe late February. Here she is. It, it's a, the beginning of the second week of February, and she's a game two, maybe three away. And this is the graphic I love because she's doing it in fewer games than the others. Look at the difference in assists involving her teammates in an incredible way and doing it while helping her team win, has the best win percentage in that group. So what Caitlin Clark has been able to do, just, just remarkable. I mean, the assist per game alone uh, is something that just separates her from, from others, and, and her deep range is what, to me, separates her from anybody else we've ever watched play women's college basketball. You know, we were talking with Jeff Walls a little bit about Caitlin earlier today. He coached Caitlin in Team USA. And he said, you know, the thing that he still thinks gets overlooked is just what an incredible passer she is. Her shooting is so transcendent and mesmerizing, but her passing, fantastic. Poke from behind. Curry comes up with a steal. It's Curry and Harris. Harris is tied a career high. 18 for Nyla Harris, and the Louisville lead is double digits. Hidalgo's runner is good. What a touch from Hannah Hidalgo. I mean, if you're Louisville, you have to be pretty pleased with forcing Notre Dame into that shot. <laughs> and then Hidalgo just drains it anyway. Hidalgo has the last eight Notre Dame points, up to 16 for the game. She has a school record eight straight games of at least 20 points. Cochran. Turn in the corner, gets blocked by Westfield. It'll stay here, six on the shot clock. Vivian Cochran likes to drive, use her strength, and great job by Westfield, keeping her arms straight up, just flicking the wrist in order to block the shot. And timeout taken by Louisville. We're gonna leave, but we're gonna come back in 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Sarah. Hi. If you had to choose, would you listen to elevator music all day or deal with payroll compliance? Payroll compliance for sure. Wait, for real? Switching to Gusto makes staying compliant much easier. On top of seamless payroll, they automatically calculate my taxes and file with the right agencies for me. Can Gusto help my small business with compliance too? Definitely. Thank you so much. Choose payroll compliance without the ups and downs. That's working with Gusto. Now, Hannah Hidalgo's numbers still decent tonight, but not quite what they normally are. And, and we've caught her looking like she's struggling at different times. Now you can see seemingly dealing with or battling something throughout the night. And on the Notre Dame bench there, a couple of timeouts ago. Meanwhile, Notre Dame able to take it off the inbound from Louisville and then draw the foul on the other end. It'll go against Nyla Harris. And that is number two on Harris. And even if she's not feeling 100%, well, still putting up a, a pretty strong performance, including eight points in this third. But typically more, much more efficient yeah. than she has been here tonight. She's a 50-40 player on the season and you know, just struggling a little more than we're used to seeing. No. Niel was talking about Hannah and, and the way she handles hostile environments and saw it in her first game in, in Paris, which was a heavy, heavy South Carolina crowd and that didn't stop Hannah Hidalgo from having a sparkling debut. And Miel tells the story about seeing her in under 19 and in Madrid with Team USA playing Spain. She said it was the most raucous crowd she has ever seen in her life. And Hannah rose to the occasion, showed her a lot about the fortitude of that young woman. 
That three is good. Kiki Jefferson knocking it down. And the lead back to 10 for Louisville. Jefferson, who was the player of the year in her conference last year, James Madison, as Westfeld saves it only momentarily. Here is Jefferson blasting ahead, and Hidalgo has her fourth steal. Anticipated it beautifully. Hidalgo gets bumped and still banks it in. She is so good about getting her shoulders squared when she is taking the ball to the basket, gets bumped, and just hangs a little bit long enough to just stay square and hit the shot. A low center of gravity. Hidalgo's at a big third. You're five six, you have a low everything. Yeah. Curry, short on a three. First, I thought you were saying you're five six. No, I was just saying, no, you're just a lot taller than me. I'm five <laughs> ten, Rebecca. Hidalgo, what a move. And the finish plus the foul. Hannah Hidalgo with a major highlight and a chance for three. These last two plays from Hannah Hidalgo looked like her against UConn when she simply took over at points in that game, not only getting it done defensively, but going to her strong right hand, attacking the basket, making defense look silly, finishing with contact. She can go from inefficient to efficient very quickly here yeah. in this game. She's had a monster third quarter. 12 points and three steals in the frame and make it 13 points as Hidalgo will get a breather. Bransford in, 137 to go in this third. Hidalgo now up to 21 points, extending her school record. Nine straight games with at least 20. Louisville's found more of a rhythm this quarter, but Hidalgo has done enough to keep Notre Dame right there and a whistle as retards gets fouled. The game just has found a much better rhythm here in the third yeah. quarter. That first half there was never really a consistent flow on either side. You'd expect that. Two very good defensive teams in conference play. Things can sometimes get ugly. Taylor kicks. Baseline jumper is good. East on Bulalu knocks it down. Three fouls now on Citron, by the way. That last one called on her. Final minute of this third. Oh, the steal. Taylor cuts inside. Can't bank it in. Rebound Jefferson. She gets fouled. Louisville's been able to get to the offensive glass tonight. Notre Dame has as well. 10 offensive rebounds for Notre Dame, but now 13 for Louisville, which was concern number two for Neal Ivey tonight. And that is number three on Matty Westbelt. For a little more on Kiki Jefferson, let's send things over to Holly. Well, you mentioned she was the player of the year in the conference last year for James Madison. And coming into this season, playing for Coach Walsh, she's like, you know, I realized at that level I was able to take some plays off or rest sometimes on offense. And at this level, I can't rest a single pass or possession or cut. She said, Jeff Walls has been showing me film of myself of like habits you get into when you're at a lower level and it's easy for you. She said, I have to be engaged every single moment, every single cut and play. She has given a lot out there and you see how hard she's working and she has been coachable. Walls said he has not coached anyone in 29 years with the spirit and attitude of this young woman. He absolutely adores her. And she's having another productive night. 10 points, eight rebounds. Louisville's lead is nine with the doll go back in. Shot clock down to five. Dump inside. Watson cuts through two. Wow, that was a 
terrific move from Kylie Watson. We've seen her do that a couple times tonight where she has multiple defenders around her and she's able to slither through and power through and finish. Hidalgo nearly came up with another steal. Would have been her fifth, but she averages per game. Hidalgo pokes it away. Will she get off a shot? No. Great job by Taylor to get back and contest. And that'll do it for the third, a seven-point Louisville lead, and we'll talk. Pass in transition, knows that on a two-on-one, the pass is going to be able to, to oh. Well, this might be the only time Marion Jones has ever been caught. Hannah Hidalgo tying her for the ACC freshman record for most steals in a season. It's impressive. And you know, there's still a lot of games left. Yes, Again, it's not yes. just that Adalgo's doing this. It's that it's early February. Yeah, she's setting these records so early. Taylor's jumper, short. Rebound, Harris. Gets fouled, and Nyla Harris. Just heard Jeff Walls talk about the job she's doing on the glass. She's going back to the line. If that's Westbell, that's going to be number four. And it is number four on Maddie Westbell. Harris again, just attacking the offensive glass, goes, gets the ball. Westbell looked like she was pretty straight up. There was contact there, but usually you don't get the call unless the arms come down. Westbell, the quiet night for her. She only has four points on the night, two of eight, but she's such a good floor spacer. You have to respect what she can do from the perimeter. You also know that she can drive and post up. Harris has a new career high, 19 points. Sophomore has been incredibly impressive tonight. Here's Hidalgo, off one leg, wow. The runner is true. Going left. 23 for Hidalgo. Remember when it seemed like it was a quiet night? <laughs> that was quite a few decibels ago. Yes. Ricards, bounces to Cochran. Cochran rummaging inside for the finish, plus the foul. She flexes afterwards. I mean, she uses her size and strength and speed so well to her advantage. We've seen that a couple of times tonight. Facing up, driving at the basket. It's a strong young woman, and she can easily absorb that contact and finish. Well, one of the things Jeff Walls talked to us about, Rebecca, was her ball handling skills as well and how much they've improved and how much Olivia has worked on that. And you can see it multiple times tonight where she's getting the ball 15, 18, 19 feet away and comfortably driving to the rim. And you can't give her the step anymore because she is now much improved at hitting that 15-foot jump shot. Missed that free throw. Here's Citron finds the cutter. Marshall who lays it in. Sonia Citron, just three of nine from the floor tonight. Picks up an assist there. Does have seven rebounds. Catch, fire, in and out for Jefferson, but a whistle underneath against DeWolf as Cochran was attacking the offensive glass. So to Citron, just a beautiful pass. Marshall continues to move and cut through the lane. Great bounce pass by Citron. Falls, and that's going to be held ball, and or are they going to give Louisville timeout? I think Louisville's going to be awarded a timeout with four on the shot clock, leading by six, two minutes into the fourth. Why do dermatologists choose Dove? 
The Dove Beauty Bar is gentle, not only cleans, hydrates my skin. As a dermatologist, I want what's best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologists use at home. What's up at DQ? These two are debating which $7 meal deal, with fries, drink, and a sundae, is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. There's something for everyone in the $7 meal deal at DQ. Happy tastes good. I bought three of the same jacket to get the fourth free. I subscribed to get a deal on these memory supplements, then forgot to cancel. Yeah, well, you know, recognizing a bad deal is a part of the journey. Yes, Eva, would you like to share your breakthrough? I got AT&T's best deal on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and got to choose my plan. Aww. Yes, we don't make you sign up for the top tier plan to get our best deal. I still haven't gone. I subscribed to get yeah, a deal. Yeah, we know. Get the newest Galaxy on us with any of our best plans, guaranteed. brother. Which brother? The older brother, duh. You're only older by a minute. Best minute of my life. Guys, guys, break it up, break it up. Our son just needs car insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your State Farm agent can help you choose the right coverage. Give me the ball, you my guys, guys. Get it with my ball. Guys, break it up, break it up. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There's nothing better than the Subway Series Footlong, except when you add an all-new Footlong Sidekick, like the Philly with a new $2 Footlong Churro. Sometimes the Sidekick is the main event. You would say that. Every epic Footlong deserves a perfect Sidekick. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Ah, some of the most brilliant minds in business. No, not you. Or you. You. You auto track business income and expenses with QuickBooks. And you, you pay all your employees easily and accurately. And you have a business bank account with market leading APY. Get the full picture of your business on one platform. Now with expert help when you need it. That's how you business differently. Do you know who holds the record for the most points in a three-point competition? Sabrina Ionescu, head-on miss. This is ridiculous. The greatest performance we have ever seen in this contest. An all-time record for NBA and WNBA. I think I got to bring her out and be like, we got to sell this once and for all. Curry, three-pointers up. That is going to be so much fun. All-Star Weekend. Cannot wait for the shootout between Steph Curry and Sabrina. I'm Yester. starting now to hope that there's a rematch at the WNBA All-Star Game. Oh, all right. Shot clock was fading there. Good setup, good play out of the timeout. No make then the corner three attempt from Jefferson. That will be there in Phoenix in July. Yes. Who doesn't want to be in Phoenix in July? <laughs> Hidalgo got it into DeWolf and nice hands, Nia Ivey on a Notre Dame turnover. Hey, NBA Saturday primetime on ABC. Speaking of Steph, Chase Center this weekend. The Suns head west to take on the Warriors. Coverage begins with countdown. Then at 8.30, it's the Suns and Warriors on ABC and the ESPN app. Should be a fun one as Jefferson labors off to the Louisville bench. Keep an eye on her. She's been a critical piece for Louisville all season, certainly tonight. Holly? So Sabrina said she would shoot from the NBA logo or three-point range in that competition. I think it's only fair that Steph has to do one from the W range, too, because it could be different shots. So I think he needs to be fair about this. You know what? You're right. Sometimes shorter is that can mess with you. Maybe they, if, they, if they have a rematch at WNBA All-Star, maybe that's how it goes. As Russell, speaking of threes, buries one from the corner. Louisville 5 of 16. Notre Dame just 1 of 11 from downtown. DeWolf trying to change that here. Cannot. Long rebound, Taylor. Nine-point Louisville lead. Notre Dame has not led all game, and DeWolf gets called for the foul. That'll be the fourth already on Notre Dame. 
three minutes into this quarter. This is an outstanding possession by Louisville. They shared the basketball, switched sides of the floor, made the plus one pass, and Russell able to drain it. They have played very unselfishly all game. Haven't necessarily shot it well from three. Have hit a couple big ones. But you've seen them generate some good looking attempts because of that unselfishness. Taking care of the ball has been the issue. Yep, there you go. Steal number six for Hidalgo lays it in. And with that steal, Hannah Hidalgo now has the most ever by an ACC freshman. A record setting night for Hannah Hidalgo. Taylor's three is good. There it is again. Sydney Taylor connecting on a triple. Another possession, a beautiful offense sharing the ball. I think everyone for Louisville touched it that time. Switching sides of the floor ends up with an open look. Bransford can't knock it down. Cochran the rebound. Louisville with momentum. Cochran over to Russell. Jeff Walls wanted patient possession from his team. He has gotten them. Didn't want early shots, allowing Notre Dame to get out in transition. Russell, five to shoot. Cross court, Curry. You bet. Largest lead of the night for Louisville. Ryan, I watch a lot of high school basketball. I would love to just show high school players the last three possessions for Louisville. The patience, the unselfishness, the sharing of the basketball to help your teammates get open looks and then converting those looks. Absolutely beautiful. Jeff Wall said it's one of the strengths of his team and it makes it difficult to defend because there really is no concentration with any one or two players. So. You have to guard everybody. You don't ever feel like you can key in on anybody on his team. As Citron hits back iron, Hidalgo cleans it up and puts it in. And a Hidalgo, another big night scoring. She has 19 in the second half, 27 now for the game. Her anticipation, not only stellar uh, in terms of getting steals, but also getting rebounds. She's only 5'6 and gets more than five boards a game. Cochran banks it in. Hidalgo sets up Watson. She gets fouled. And Kylie Watson is going to shoot two. Third foul on Harris. Free throws for Watson. And coming up next, my hockey team, Rebecca. <laughs> the New York Islanders with Patrick Waugh as their head coach. Higher January 20th, Lightning Islanders up next. As Watson banks it in. A hockey tunnel fits very different from NBA tunnel fits. <laughs> yeah. Knocked away. Cochran cut, can't finish. Rebound ripped away by Westfeld. Here's Citron. Into the corner to Wolf. The Wolf had it poked from behind. Nyla Harris couldn't grab it. Russell can. Timeout Louisville. Two 
two Louisville players diving on the floor for the loose ball, just showing incredible effort. Jeff Walls rewarding them by securing the possession, calling the timeout. 12-point Louisville lead with 3.43 to go in this fourth. Sharing the basketball, switching sides of the floor, setting screens, moving the ball. Gets you open looks on the offensive end of the floor. Pass, pass, cut, screen, move. Everyone feels involved. When everyone feels involved, everyone feels good. You get good looking shots. That's such a fun way to play basketball, Ryan. Nine assists on 12 made field goals in this second half for Louisville. And this has been a calling card of Louisville's in-conference play. Their field goal percentage leads the ACC, shooting at 49% as a team in conference play. Their three-point percentage, which was just 29% in the non-conference, up to 36%. And their assists have jumped up as well in conference play. So more of the same for Jeff Wall's team thus far tonight against Notre Dame. The key for Louisville down the stretch here is going to be taking care of the basketball, staying solid on the defensive end, but you do not want to let Notre Dame get steals and quick scores. And of course, conversely, that's what Notre Dame wants. Get some turnovers, score quickly the other way. Oh, Ooh, blood. Yeah, a lot of it. Sonia Citron will get some attention. You know, why didn't you have that in your bag earlier when I needed a Band-Aid? <laughs> if you had asked for pre-wrap, I could have given you pre-wrap. I just didn't have a Band-Aid. It's one of the rare times you've asked me if I have some random yeah, thing, and, and it, I haven't had it. Right, because you have four children, Yes. and you have a mom bag that's <laughs> bottomless, I except for Band-Aids. Band-Aids are the only thing that Rebecca Lobo is missing. I don't know if it's a compliment to say I have a bottomless mom bag. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> Cochran's jumper grazes the rim. And a loose ball foul against Louisville. That's going to be the third team foul on Louisville. Meanwhile, Notre Dame already over the limit. Good possession, though, for Louisville to work the shot clock. They took a shot with about three seconds remaining. Understanding time and score. You want to stay aggressive, but at the same time, deliberate, moving the ball, trying to get good shots while using the clock. Second foul on Jefferson. Here's Hidalgo. Citron. Back to Hidalgo. Three minutes to go in this fourth. 12-point Louisville lead. Crowd applauding the D. Hidalgo can't knock it down. West Belt tied up with Harris, and the possession arrow belongs to Louisville. for his team to be in the press break. They worked on this a lot in their shoot around this morning. Cochran broke it easily. It didn't really come. Yeah, it's a luxury when you have a big who can handle the basketball against the press. Here's Jada Curry going to let the shot clock wind. And Adalgo comes up with yet another steal. And a loose ball foul against Louisville. That's their fourth team foul in this fourth quarter. Just look at her staring at the ball, picking her moment, and both players going for it. Doggo getting tripped up. Does that one count as a steal? We're uh, awaiting word on if it does. I would. Yeah. It should count as a steal. There is a discrepancy on a previous steal that we're still awaiting some word on as Wesbelt knocks down the three. 
So the steal number for Hidalgo right now in flux because there was one given and one taken. Like the Lord giveth and taketh away. Sure. Two Notre minutes to go. Notre Dame fans understand. <laughs> Jefferson. Seven to shoot. Harris, there's Hidalgo again. Her timing is just incredible. And that's going to win the possession for Notre Dame. Hey, Jeff Wall is only one timeout, so he couldn't waste one here to retain possession and just like quick poke. Wow. And, and get the ball. I mean, her eyes are always on the ball, whether it's her player who has it or one of her teammates. Ready, ready to pounce. It's a game here. Westbell, what a crossover. The flip won't go, but a foul on Cochran. And Westbell is going to shoot two. I thought Cochran did a really nice job of holding her ground. Westbell with a beautiful kind of hesitation move. And Notre Dame has an increasing pulse here. Yes. With 133 to go, Westbell knocks down the first. That's an incredible description, by the way. Well, you know, this is what I'm paid to do. <laughs> Westbell calmly knocks down both. It is now a seven point game. Russell in some trouble. And Adalgo nearly comes up with another steal. It is incredible watching her meander around the floor. If you're Louisville, where do you want to pass it? Away from Hidalgo. Forget about which one of your teammates is open. Where is she? Pass it in the other direction. The play is under review for Out of Bounds. So it's under two minutes. They can take a look at this. Oh. I think Adal goes right. At least on that angle, looks like it hits the right hand of Cochran yes, last. Yes, it does. Yeah. That's Co yep. off of Cochran. That's another turnover forced by Hidalgo. A lot of college and WNBA rules are similar. Some are different. And almost universally, I think the WNBA rules are better, except here. I love that in college, under two minutes, there's no challenge or any of that nonsense. They are going to go to the monitor and see who the ball is off. And in this case, it's going to be Notre Dame possession. A great opportunity for Neil Ivey to draw up something in a timeout that she's not charged for here. And draw as she does. By the way, Rebecca, right now, the official scoring has Hidalgo at six steals, but... for most steals in a season and she's just created what certainly looks like it's going to be another turnover as that looks like it it pretty clearly hits the right hand of Cochran last after review the call stands I don't understand. All right, maybe they saw a, maybe they saw a different angle where it looks like it could have hit the hand of Hidalgo last. Now, remember, stands means there was not evidence enough to overturn it. 
And they don't necessarily see the same replays. Correct. Like in the Correct. WNBA, officials see the same replays. Correct. We are showing them on TV. That's not necessarily the case here. So wow. perhaps they saw an angle where it's unclear if maybe it hit Hidalgo last. Here's Jefferson off the inbound. Jefferson in trouble, surrounded, and look who it is. Hannah Hidalgo, another steal. Hidalgo. Confused as to why Louisville was trying to go so quickly there. After Jefferson secured possession, Hidalgo's jumper back iron, no. Ricards is fouled by DeWolf. Louisville in the bonus. So Nina Ricards, who's a 70% free throw shooter, goes to the line. Hidalgo now officially with seven steals. Could be as many as nine after things are reviewed. That's foul number four on DeWolf and a huge miss free throw there from Ricards. Ricards missed them both. Watson the rebound. Door open for Notre Dame. Here's Hidalgo directing traffic. 50 seconds to go. Westbell taking a lot of time here. Citron. Citron over to Westbell to three. Back iron, no. DeWolf has it knocked away. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Notre Dame with 36.6 seconds to go. Notre Dame took a lot of time to get into things there. And... You have Jefferson, who's been battling something throughout this game down, and a little grimace as she's helped up. Boy, Hidalgo is a unique force when you're trying to win extra possessions late in the game. Her superhero name would be the Disruptor, because on the defensive end, she is everywhere. I mean, just gets her hands on basketballs, creates stuff out of nothing. I mean, look at her. She, she's not even supposed to be on that part of the floor, but she's there getting steals, getting extra opportunities for her team. She is a dynamo. It's fun to watch. There's, there's few players on the defensive end you're, like, fixated on. She is one of them. Just want to see, all right, what is she going to do next? Where is she going to go next? You see how big her second half has been as we send things over to Holly. We asked Hannah Hidalgo, why does she love playing defense so much? She's like, I just remember when I was really young, Somebody told me defense wins championships, and that always stuck with me. I bet her dad's at home yelling at the TV right now going, that was me. I told her that. <laughs> but, you know, she just has always remembered that. Even the McDonald's All-American game, she set a record for steals. That's never happened. And she just loves it. And you can feel how she's thriving on that, turning it in points on the other end. But 36 seconds left, will she have enough to overcome a seven-point deficit. You see her there staring at the board as Neil Ivey draws something up. One of the other things Neil Ivey told us, she's excellent transferring what is drawn up in the huddle and executing it then on the offensive end. Said her IQ is so high, she can give her two, three, four plays at a time. West Bell lobs it into no one. Cochran on the steal. And Hidalgo fouls Curry. We'll see if that's the final gasp for Notre Dame. Outstanding defense on that side out of bounds play by Louisville. 17 turnovers for Notre Dame in this game, 21 for Louisville. Curry to the line. A couple of years ago, became the first ever freshman to lead the Pac-12 in scoring at 18 and a half points per game. It's the first free throw here. That was during her time at Cal. Seventy-five percent on the season. This is the second. Watson the rebound. Notre Dame's got a boogie. Here comes Hidalgo. Hidalgo, what a crossover! Hidalgo the finish plus the foul, and Hannah Hidalgo a chance for three, which would cut it to five. I mean, here, this is ridiculous. In and out, and then crosses right back over. 
Taylor trying to get out of the way, but Hidalgo brilliant drawing that foul. Opportunity for three while the clock is stopped to cut this to a two possession. Or further cut it as a two possession game. Anna Hidalgo, her fifth 30 point game of the season. And a foul given right away as Sydney Taylor will go to the line. Second most in a single season in Notre Dame history, only Arike Agumbawale with more. Notre Dame one timeout remaining, and a Wolf is fouled out. Wow, a lot of missed free throws here for Louisville. Up next, Noah Dobson. Isles Lightning. That's up next. Louisville at the line in this game, 10 for 18. That one rolls in. And Notre Dame. Is the timeout taken? No. Oh, Tiara Cruz says, my fault. Thought a timeout was being taken, it was not. Each team with one remaining, six point game. Citron jogs it across. Citron into the paint, flips it up and in. It's a four point game with 16 seconds to go. And Adalgo is gonna foul Jefferson. Kiki Jefferson, who is an 89% free throw shooter, is four of four tonight will go to the line to try and help secure things for Louisville with Notre Dame on an 11-2 run to make things tight down the stretch here. A lot of missed free throws from Louisville has kept the door open for the Irish. Jefferson rattles in the first. Well, she leads the ACC in free throw percentage. Huge one there. And hits both. Timeout taken, Notre Dame. Their final timeout. Well, what's at stake in this contest? Louisville, 12-0 at home this season. Trying to remain undefeated, Notre Dame seeking its second win against an AP Top 15 team. Recently had that really impressive win against number eight at the time, UConn. Hannah Hidalgo has been as advertised, 30 points, seven steals. Louisville, some big time shooting in this fourth quarter from three after they had been quiet from downtown throughout and now just trying to get to the finish line. Louisville four of five from three point range in this fourth quarter. Citron to inbound into Hidalgo, 12 seconds to go. West Bell to three. Is short, out of bounds, and that should do it. Eight seconds to go, Neal Ivey directing her team. As Jeff Walls is gonna take a timeout, Louisville's final timeout. That was a great play. Westbound ghosted the screen. She ended up wide open as both defenders went with Hidalgo. She just had a bit of a struggle tonight from three, only one for five. What a stretch this has been for Louisville. Four ranked opponents in a row. They beat Syracuse, lose at NC State. Look poised to win this game before they play then Syracuse again. But a really tough part of Louisville's schedule and they've been playing well. This is the schedule you're talking about. Another big game against Syracuse on Sunday. And Jeff Wallace and Louisville on the brink of their 14th straight 20-win season. 
Coach Walls, just one of five active coaches to coach in at least four Final Fours. Taking this team to five straight Elite Eights. Eight seconds remaining in this fourth. Into the backcourt to Cochran, who's fouled by Watson, and Cochran is going to shoot two. Cochran is 75% free throw shooter. 0 for 1 tonight. Notre Dame is out of timeouts. Cochran misses. Free throw shooting truly has been brutal for Louisville tonight. 13 of 22. Notre Dame, meanwhile, 12 of 14. Cochran hits the second. Substitutions here for Louisville. With 7.4 to go in a seven-point game. its feet. Citron will hoist. And that will do it. Another 20-win season for Jeff Walls in Louisville. As the Cardinals outlast the Fighting Irish, 73-66. The final Louisville remains unbeaten at home. 13-0 now for our producer, Kerry Callahan, our director, Jimmy Plough. A couple of Hall of Famers, Rebecca Lobo and Holly Rowe. I'm Ryan Rucco. Coming up next, it's ESPN Hockey Night between the Lightning and the Islanders as we say good night from the film. <laughs>